Welcome everyone to the Wake Up Call channel. Jared Leto, for those of you that don't know, Jared Leto is an actor in America, best known for being possibly one of the worst actors in America. If you haven't seen his role in Gucci, I recommend it if you want a good laugh. Or you could just watch Jared Leto's awful interpretation of the Joker in one of his latest films. But Jared Leto is a sinking ship in Hollywood who continues to try to cling to have any type of relevance. And the thing we see most common with Jared Leto is his constant mockery of our king, the king of kings, Jesus Christ. And for those of you, again, if you're not familiar, Jared Leto is somebody I've covered over the years. And Jared Leto has even gotten a YouTuber who sounded a lot like me, who had over 550,000 subscribers, his channel removed from this platform for bullying. And I say it was specifically this person because two strikes came in on two separate videos regarding this Satanist, and they were both strikes for hate speech and bullying, and then the channel was shortly thereafter removed. But no hard feelings. I think what's going on in today's world is that Jared Leto is really trying to solidify his place in hell. And with all the stuff that people are starting to see going on, with things like the Olympics and the Last Supper mocking out in broad daylight. People need to start paying attention to all of these people, not just a broad scale like the Olympics, but all of these celebrities are constantly mocking Jesus Christ and getting away with it. They get away with it in the name of art and fashion. I've talked about that for a long time. Art and fashion, give them the ability to do whatever they want in front of your face and then to be able to say, well, it's art or it's fashion. I'm not doing it to hurt anyone's feelings. It's just an expression that I'm making, right? And of course, we all know that art and fashion are one of the biggest ways that they launder money to actually traffic a lot of the people that they actually sacrifice. So Jared Leto clearly, clearly is going to have a very special place come Judgment Day where I can't possibly imagine because, again, God will not be mocked. What is going to occur to Jared Leto? But let's take a look at Jared Leto. Right here at Paris Fashion Week, it has to be pointed out for people out there who are getting angry at what they're seeing, especially when it comes to mocking Jesus Christ. Well, here's Jared Leto, and the title says, Jared Leto wore uh, Mason Margiela to Vogue World in Paris, right? Well, for anybody out there who has any common sense, right, they should be able to see that, first of all, it looks like he's wearing some type of raincoat, and they're telling us it's art, right? But if you're paying attention, this is how they get away with this stuff, because he's wearing what would appear to be a crucifix around his neck, but it's made of nails, right? Looks like large stakes, which most people would look at and think to themselves about Christ's crucifixion, right? And he's wearing it as a cross around his neck to let you know that's exactly what he's referencing. And if you look at his hands, you can see that he has his hands so that his hands are bleeding. It's the idea of his hands bleeding, his fingers bleeding, covered in blood from those nails that he's wearing around his neck. So for anybody out there that can't see that this is just straight up, not just blasphemy, mocking of Christians out there where he's mocking the fact that Christ was crucified. He's wearing nails, stakes around his neck, making a cross to show you that he's even referencing Jesus Christ. And of course, what's on his fingers? Can they explain what that is? Well, of course, He's showing the blood coming out of the hands of our King of Kings, Jesus Christ. And this is the stuff that they continually get away with out in the open. Jared Leto is more than just a Satanist. You can look at the people he's affiliated with and the signs and symbols that he exposes himself with all the time, right? He's got the tattoo on his arm. He's always holding up the 666 sign. Here's a picture of him doing the 666 sign with Terry Richardson, who is a famed photographer. You might say, what's he famous for? What kind of photography? Well, Jerry Richardson takes those pictures that they pass around that you never ever will hear about or find as evidence. But Terry Richardson films and photographs the stuff that they do at Bohemian Grove, the stuff that they do behind the scenes. And you can even see this picture of the two of them creepily posing. And even has the Hotel California shirt on, which is referencing Hotel Marmont or Chateau Marmont in California, where a lot of these rituals occur with these celebrities out in the open. Here's a famous photo that Terry took of Jared Leto, where you can see Jared deliberately posing next to an upside down cross and conveniently having that number 33, 
or 3-3-3 three, three, three right next to him where he's squatting in between it, which is done by design. Again, 33 representing the one-third of the fallen angels that were cast out from heaven. 33 is the number to the occult, the most significant number to the occult, other than, of course, 666, but we always see 33 right in front of our faces. It is the highest degree in Freemasonry that one could achieve. And Jared Leto's always mocking. He's always mocking Christianity. He's always doing things, even mocking, you know, walking around holding up crucifixes, knowing that he obviously does not follow Jesus Christ, is not a worshiper of Jesus Christ, so it's clear mockery. And of course, we've seen Jared Leto with Marina Abramovich all the time, right? Marina Abramovich is one of his bestest pals, not just Terry Richardson, Marina. And what's Marina only known for in this world? Being a witch out in the open. Marina Abramovich, of course, connected to spirit cooking. If you haven't seen my videos on spirit cooking, they are available on the website in regards to the pizza parlor in Washington, D.C., where these celebrities and these politicians like to go and hang out all the time after hours with young kids playing ping pong. And of course, in 2016, when that was exposed by so-and-so, yours truly here and other people out there, a massive psyop came out of that called the Q movement, which replaced a lot of voices that sound like this voice with a government operation so that people who are looking into conspiracies would get sucked down the wrong rabbit hole, the rabbit hole of misinformation and small truths, and of course still believing in the left-right paradigm. But in regards to Marina Abramovich and that pizza situation, those were the big videos that obviously got a channel like mine removed from the internet in the first place. So you can definitely check those out over on the website. And again, Jared Leto always holding up all seeing eye symbolism, putting his hand over his eye, the 666 sign over his eye. He's not saying A-OK. He's not playing peekaboo. Even doing it on magazine covers. And really, we're at a point in our society where people are getting angry and Christians are getting gaslit like never before, which makes me a little bit nervous moving forward because I'm starting to finally see how angry Christians are getting. And most of you know who have been around for a while, you see me respond to a lot of this stuff in real time, and I'm always very, very angry. I'm less angry now because I'm more suspicious as to how they're doing this on such a massive scale. And it makes me suspicious that they're gaslighting us into something, gaslighting us into being so angry that we're going to turn to man instead of turning to God to go after these people, which is what I'm worried about in regards to Trump and any type of Christian persecution and Christians starting to side with politicians and humans who they think have their best interest in mind. So we're seeing this all over the place, right? And remember, they always use art to get away with this stuff. They tell you that it's art. They tell you that it's, you know, entertainment, it's fashion, and it's always right in front of us. That's why when you see a lot of these fashion shows, it looks like a goth festival and people go, what is this? They go, it's a fashion show. And you go, well, when I go to the store, Wherever you might get your clothes, maybe you go to Ralph Lauren, maybe you go to Walmart, maybe you go to a thrift shop. You don't see any of this stuff, right? And they go, well, it's really high end. Nobody's walking around the streets dressed like Jared Leto wearing the nails around his neck with blood on his hand, what appears to be blood, a mockery of blood on the hands. And it looks like he's just wearing nothing but his boxer briefs and a raincoat, right? And we're supposed to believe that this is some type of high end fashion, I mean, how dumbed down do people have to be to think that this stuff is fashion? Who in their right mind would ever wear this? You'd be better off rolling out of bed and grabbing your sheets and going to work at 7 o'clock in the morning. That's probably more fashionable than these things that they get away with telling us are fashion statements, right? Oh, it's a fashion statement. Jared Leto's making an expression. Well, the expression that he's making is that he's spitting in the face of all followers of the King of Kings. And that's what he's done his entire career. And we need to get to a point now where people start saying, you know what? This isn't just the Olympics. This isn't just Democrats. This is all of Hollywood. This is all the entertainment industry. And these corporations are allowing this to occur. They're promoting these people because they're all working hand in hand. Christianity is under massive persecution, massive persecution. And it's, it's on a massive scale. So all of these people need to be called out because they can't talk this stuff away. What is Jared Leto going to say? If you call him out for what he's wearing there, they say, it, say it's art. Is that what they're going to say at the Olympics? Because they try to poo-poo that and say, well, you know, it's just a, 
It was a ceremony, and everyone said, no, that's BS, that's garbage. What about Jared Leto? Why does he get a pass? Why does he get a pass where he even has a cross on his arm with an, you know, an arrow through it, crossing out the crucifix, right? Or just the fact that he's wearing the nails and has his hands bleeding like that. And it's not the first time he's done it. He does this stuff all the time, mocking Christianity. So why should he be allowed to get away with this? So why should any of them be allowed to get away with it? It's absolutely disgusting. And it's about time people start not just exposing these celebrities. It's about time that these people actually were confronted on the things that they actually do. And of course, when people hear the word now because of the Communist Manifesto, they hear the word confrontation to them is like assault in today's society. But these people need to be confronted about what they're doing. They shouldn't be allowed to be doing this out in the open and getting away with it, especially when we're not allowed to say boo back. That's the big problem. If they want to mock Christianity, then allow us to mock them back. Because I know, you know, specifically myself, I'll verbally run these people over. I'll verbally run over Jared Leto. But of course, that sounds violent. So you got to be very careful about what you say, because if their feelings get hurt, you know, that's the end of the world. If Jared Leto's feelings get hurt, you should be canceled. But if they want to, they, you know, the only religion that gets mocked, or the only faith I should say that gets mocked is Christianity. No other one. What if Jared Leto was walking around mocking uh, Buddha or Shiva or Kali? Or what if he was out there mocking Muslims' beliefs? Oh, of course not. It's only Christianity that's under attack. Which again, like I said earlier in the video, that's what makes me scared that they're starting to do this stuff so openly that their, their plan here is to lure Christians into having faith and hope that man will stop this from occurring. Instead of Christians themselves saying, you know what? These people need to be stopped as a Christian, you know, the society of has a lot of Christians in it. They shouldn't be allowed to tell you what you can and cannot say. Well, they could do this stuff in the name of art. Well, then we're all doing it in the name of art. This video is an artistic expression. I'm sure it'll get stri you know, a strike for bullying Jared Leto, but I had to call it out so that people out there know because Jared Leto has been getting away with this for far too long. And if people are in an uproar about what occurred at the Olympics, which they should be, they should be in an uproar about all of these people because they're doing it on a day in, day out basis, whether it's them going to art shows and fashion shows or in music videos like Little Nas X is continually done. It needs to be stopped. It's absolutely sickening. So Jared Leto is really trying to secure his spot in hell, but what he's really securing is the boot that he's going to get shoved up his rectum come Judgment Day. And a couple of those horsemen of the apocalypse will be flinging him around like a Frisbee. I thank everybody for being here. Hope you're all doing well. God bless you as always and your families.